Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, since this year is a year where Microsoft wants to refocus Windows 10 and give it more, um, I would say, make it really better and more useful for the average user, um, something that it kind of abandoned in the last couple of years, we could say. I will have a little series today um, that I will actually call Improving Windows and each video will focus on one aspect of Windows that needs to be actually fixed because you know it's a problem and there needs to be uh, something done about it. In this first video we're gonna talk about something that scares the hell out of everybody and you can kind of understand why. It has to do with Windows Update. Yep, Windows Update. So Windows Update, um, I mean, it's always been pretty much the way it is. Uh, and it's always been a, you know, always kind of, uh, you have the impression of like going at a casino and gambling on something every time you click check for updates. Um, there are some updates that work fine and go well, but how many times did we see updates that break something, that change something, that render even a PC useless? Um, that is something that needs to be addressed. I think whatever they do, whatever the way they do it, there's changes that need to be done here. Uh, one of the biggest uh, examples of that, we thought they were working on it and it was going to work well when the May 2020 update arrived. It had been tested since, you know, December. I had cumulative updates to fix what was still wrong. And when it came out in May, we thought, oh, that's going to be the best Windows 10 uh, feature update ever. And it didn't take long that a lot of people complained of things. And that a list of known issues appeared. And the first thing that you think is, you had six months to test this thing. How come you didn't see that coming? it's not acceptable and so my first complaint is if you have to kind of try to fix windows if you want to change it's you know it's fine to change the interface change things to make it you know nicer better uh easier to use but do also look under the hood and the code and the way things are done and i think windows update needs to be uh, change. I think there needs to be a new way of addressing Windows updates. You know, it's impossible to have a perfect update. It's impossible that 100% of users have an update that works well. And that is the nature of PCs and the fact that there are billions of configurations out there. It's impossible to have all of them work right. Not counting that there are a number of things that break because of the user itself or the software installed. And there are some things that there is no control, but there are a lot of things that I have control. And the May 2020 update, we could see that some of the known issues, well, you should have known them before it actually released and fixed it while it was time before it was released. And that's where I think uh, Microsoft needs to make things better. Um, so, one thing, one note to Microsoft, I would say, for that 21H2 build where there's going to be a lot of changes coming, fix Windows Update. Make sure that it is the best update possible, experience possible, because right now, uh, I totally understand why people are just scared of, you know, installing an update. And talking about that, I think there would be a better way to also let us know when something's happening. One of the biggest complaints I think we could see, and I've gone through this, and how many times did I say here on the channel, leave it alone, do something else. Don't start staring at it because you're going to start worrying and thinking that it's not working. Find a way to show us that there's some activity. Even if there's 10 minutes of I don't know what's happening, there would be nice to have some kind of little indication of saying, no, don't worry. I'm doing this right now, um, just to kind of reassure everybody. Um, and I'm sure there's part of the problem is there. I'm sure that part of the users that have problems 
shut down their PCs right in the middle of an update thinking that it was stuck because it's been there 15 minutes doing nothing. When in reality, it was actually doing something, but shutting it down in the middle of that update broke the update. So um, Microsoft work on Windows, Windows Update, try to make it better, try to make it that when we have updates, we're actually not going to be scared if my PC is going to restart or not. That would be one thing to fix for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.